like to ask you a different kind of question. Suppose all the animals in the world were to die. Yes. Would there be any birds left? No. Why not? There are animals, too. And suppose all the birds in the world were to die. Would there be any animals left? No, yeah, yes, there would be animals, yes. How do you know? Well, not all, not all animals are birds. Okay, thank you very much. In the responses of the children to these classification tasks, we find illustrated the sequence of developmental stages Piaget has described. At the pre-operational stage, the child is beginning to abstract a common property from the objects and to find that property in many objects. Then, at the stage of concrete operations, multiple classification, class inclusion, and hierarchical classification become possible. In this film, we have not illustrated the stage of formal operations, in which the subject would be able to set up a hierarchical classification scheme by defining the necessary criteria for members of the superordinate and subordinate classes. The concrete operations necessary for classification are usually mastered by 10 or 11 years of age. Teachers who deal with younger children can analyze their teaching program in terms of demands for logical classification. Um, all the rest, shall we just put them together? Okay. What would you call these? Do you know the name of this particular kind? No, I mean all of these together. The conservation tasks reveal that thinking processes change with age. The eight-year-old is able to think logically about problems that the seven-year-old cannot. The interviews also demonstrate that age alone does not determine stage of development. We have seen two children of the same age responding to the same task at different levels of thinking. Three stages of logical intelligence have been illustrated. The pre-operational stage, where thinking is rigid and irreversible because it's perception bound. The stage of concrete operations, where the child has available to him a number of mental operations like reversing a transformation, but where he thinks out a problem in a very concrete way. And the beginning of the stage of formal operations, where the student can think abstractly, can formulate hypotheses, and put them in shape for testing in his mind. Other films in this series illustrate the stages of logical intelligence applied to tasks of classification and mathematical proportion. The conservation tasks shown in this film are simple to administer and the equipment is easily assembled. An important part of the interview is the step that Piaget calls justification, where the subject is asked to explain his reason for a particular answer or manipulation. The reasoning revealed in this way makes it possible to assess a child's developmental stage. You will find the experience of conducting interviews with children a very informative and rewarding one. Because I remember I once experimented and I found out that... The child is not born with logic. He constructs it as he acts upon the environment and figures out relations between his actions. In this film, we will examine how that construction takes place during the preschool years, during a stage Piaget calls pre-operational. Dr. Lavatelli begins with some classification tasks. Well, what I'd like to have you do is to put all the things that are like one another in some way here and those that are like one another, but in a different way here. Okay. And those that are still different over here, if you want to. Shall we start? Okay, you start. You go next. I go next? Yeah. No, I'd like to have you go next. I'll put these in a line. You put them in a line? Yeah. 
The clinical interviews you have just seen illustrate early cognitive operations. The young child's thinking tends to be perception bound. He makes judgments in terms of how things look to him. But there is growth in thinking processes and particularly in classification, number, and seriating structures. The children's behaviors seen here are spontaneous and not the result of direct instruction. Piaget sees the child as a self-regulating organism who, given the chance to carry on challenging activities, will take in information, accommodate to it, and grow in intelligence. The preschool years. 